We are here in the colonial city of Antigua, Guatemala to celebrate the wedding of our good friends, Ashley and Wilson. Antigua is filled with ruins, living traces of colonial Spanish culture, as well as delicious food, crafted cocktails, unique places to stay, and even an active volcano. Today, we're going to a mountainside village, Habatanango, with solar and wind-powered eco-casitas, a farm-to-table restaurant, and an activity park, this place is something out of a storybook. We're in the beautiful city of Antigua, Guatemala, and we're heading to a place called Habatanango. Tanango means place of... The Hobbits. Nice. Mm -hmm. And so we're heading there for a little adventure. Yeah, really excited about this place. I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan, and uh, these are four o owners that came together from all different parts of the world with all different um, skill sets to bring. So apparently, it's a pretty cool place, and we are about to get to check it out. Right, take appears, us on the tour, Mars. It appears that we have arrived. I love it. They have the opening Shire song. They do, don't they? Yeah. It's the first thing I noticed. Habatananga was created in 2015 out of a love for nature, playfulness, and the desire to disconnect from the busyness of life and reconnect to what matters. Yeah, that all just like flew right up from my head. It says something about using the walkie-talkie. Sure, sure. And Morelia, yeah. I think, is her name. I'm gonna take a shower. I hope none just, of that was important. <laughs> we just hiked Daka to Nango, so I'm gonna take a nice shower, but dude, this is, this is so cute. It's really cute. It's a little hobbit house. I'm all cleaned up. Now let me show you around. Currently, there are three eco-friendly casitas to stay at on the property. We booked ours about three months in advance for 109 US dollars per night. Everything about the Hobbit House was created with such playfulness and care. All of the eco-casitas are built with natural materials and innovative ecological methods. The bathroom even doubled as a sauna with a cute little window to look out at our private patio in the surrounding mountains. So we're staying in this uh, del sueño here. And they've got a swing, miniature golf, a little market. The eco casitas aren't all Habitanango has to offer. It even has a market, archery, axe throwing, mini golf, and the largest tree swing in Central America, which you'll get to see in just a little bit. Habitanango also has its own network of trails that are fun to explore, as well as a bar and a farm to table restaurant that has incredibly delicious food. This is not the tree swing I was talking about, but it was fun too, and a great photo op. A volcano can be seen from almost any vantage point in Habatanango. The creators of this place made sure to add fun art pieces and interactive spaces all throughout the Shire. Whoever built this place did such an incredible job. It's not just a Hobbit house, it's the Shire. It's the whole Shire. One of the guys that went on the Fuego hike with us came here just for the day. They bring tons of people up just for the day to come hang out and play games and eat at this awesome restaurant and have drinks. Or, if you're lucky or plan ahead, you can book one of the Hobbit houses. 
this guy came in to start the fire in our room and he kept adding wood. And now there's like, there's like a blazing fire with smoke everywhere. <laughs> I told him, I told him, I was like, that's fine. I was like, I put wood to it. I was like, that's good, that's good. And then he just kept adding. Really know. nice that it yeah, came really and did nice, that. But, but check this out. Just... Look at the smoke like coming out. Those. Oh my gosh, I mean, I like the smell of campfires, but I don't like being in the campfire. <coughs> I just wanted a little fire. Just open all the doors. Good morning from the hobby hall. I'm bringing some Maui to go tomorrow. I like you. Look at this guy. He has a little thing around his neck. It says adopt me. There's all these little doggies. I gave them some water. Well, sadly, the time has come to leave our little hobbit hole. What did you think, Mars? I thought this place was super sweet. Obviously, it's like they took the hobbit theme and they ran with it, and it's so fun. Everything is so cute, eclectic, kind of just like put together, but it really does feel like you've entered the Shire. And yeah, we had to watch The Hobbit last night to, to get, ah, the just get the full thing, and then um, the full they, experience. They brought breakfast to our room this morning mm -hmm. and it was fantastic. Yeah, like they, if you're a foodie, this place it's, has- It's a great spot. Food. And it's obviously reasonably priced, um, higher priced than anything in town that we've experienced. Yeah. But I mean, if you're on a US dollar budget, then it was it's $109, $109 a night, which I mean, is like really decent yeah. price for a stay in a place so unique. And breakfast for everything was probably like 15 to 20 bucks for a big portion breakfast. I mean, we couldn't even finish it all. And you got to, and we got to see three volcanoes from our room and fuego you know erupts every 15 minutes yeah. about and so we'd sit there and eat breakfast and just watch this <laughs> volcano erupt and the crazy thing is is this place is there's there's another hobbit hole just down the way and there's another hobbit house over this direction and there's fun stuff for people visiting to come see mm -hmm. but and right right out our door right is our the door. main walkway through everything but Nope, I can't, nobody could see us yeah. from the windows and yeah. from our little patio. Yeah. It's like you're so Very well secluded. secluded. Right, um, right, right. But you're still super close to everything, which is something I really enjoy. <laughs> Hi, do you guys wanna go on a walk? Wanna go on a walk? Let's go on a walk, come on. We decided to take all of the adoptable pups out for a walk before heading out. Plus, we'd missed a couple of things like this giant hand jutting out of the side of the mountain, and like I mentioned earlier, the biggest tree swing in Central America. <laughs> We are leaving Habatanango. I'm probably, sad. I'm, I'm so sad. sad. I want to stay for another night. I want to stay for like another month. Can we live here? Let's, let's, can we have the, you know, someone fly the kids here? Quaint, cool, little inspiring place, man. Honestly, I felt the inspiration energy, man, all the time. It's just yeah, it's so wonderful. good, so good. Absolutely recommend for anyone coming to the Antigua area. See you next time.